the name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate the Eucharist during the season of Lent, we come before our Lord Jesus with a humble heart. Lord Jesus, you are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call all sinners to yourself. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, so may be conformed by the paschal observances, that the bodily discipline, the solemnity begun, may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not the right, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doing, reproaches us for transgression of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is a censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foe. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not that hidden counsel was God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The, the Lord, Lord is close, close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord, Lord is close to the broken hearted. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The, the Lord, Lord is close, close to the broken hearted. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
Glory to the Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel to Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. For the Jewish feast of the tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, but not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one whom they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they are saying nothing to him. For the authorities have realized that he is the Christ, but we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because, because his hour has not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, we are reminded in today's gospel that Jesus experienced obstacles and inconveniences during his public ministry. And yet, through it all, he put trust and faith in God the Father as he was striving to do the Father's will. So Jesus, who was perfect, was born in this world to save us from sin and death, was not exempt from obstacles or inconveniences in this world. And as we, as God's faithful children, we too will not be exempt from inconvenience and obstacles in this world as well. And that presently we are experiencing this coronavirus which is being spread throughout the world and as the safety precautions, churches are being closed temporarily as government tried to work together to contain this virus. So yes, as Christians throughout the world, as Catholics throughout the world, we experience the obstacle, the inconvenience of churches being temporarily closed down. But that doesn't stop us from practicing our faith. We can still do our daily prayers at home, pray our rosary scripture, read other prayers. We can pray for others, we can use our the wealth of technology or various electronic devices to watch mass through live streaming, YouTube, or mass on TV. We still have these options which we can still um, to practice our faith. If you look at the Holy Family, all three experienced obstacles and inconvenience in their lives, and yet all three said yes to God. All yes to yes, I will do God's public will while here on this planet, and we are called to do the same. I think it's important that you focus on the present. What do we have to do today? In a sense, we need to renew our baptismal promises. We have to say, yes, Lord, I will do your will today with your help, grace, and strength. That's what the Holy Family did, and that's what we are called to do. We look at the past as a learning experience, yes. We look at the future for hope, yes. But all our energy we focus on today. Every day is called today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but called today. So I think that sacred scripture, which is a huge love letter for the last 5,000 years, reminds us of focusing on doing God's will, one day at a time, at one moment at a time. As someone mentioned to me the other day, which would be a very wonderful analogy. When you have a river going down a mountain, a big, long tree falls right in front of the river, it temporarily stops the water. Eventually, that water will build up. Eventually, the water will go around the tree or on top of the tree and continue going downhill. That's what faith is like. I think Father George used that analogy the other day during class. But I think that's a wonderful analogy. Yes, right now we have a temporary tree trunk. It's called the coronavirus that is temporarily, inconveniently, preventing us from the things we want to do with convenience. So what, this virus is temporarily, we have to go with the flow. 
remind us that Jesus is always with us. The Holy Family is with us. So even though experiencing the, the annoyances of various issues in this world, it does not stop us practicing our faith. If you look at Catholic last 2,000 years, every century had a different obstacle that they had to deal with us. We are not exempt from that in the 21st century. So we look at sacred scripture is a beautiful reminder of God's love and presence in our lives. It always reminds us we are always challenged in some way, shape, and form to be faithful to Jesus while we live in this world as God's faithful children. Let us offer our prayers and needs to the Lord. For peace in the world, especially in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we hear our prayer. For respect of human life in all the stages, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we hear our prayer. We pray that governments throughout the world will be united as they combat against the coronavirus, that new medicines, vaccines, and treatments can be developed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Sidney Castillo and Roland Reyes, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we offer our prayers to you today, and we ask you to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Accept these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself, and our salvation will be restored. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through bodily and fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its reward through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. 
habit and virtues of habit and blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May their voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended. He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep to hope the resurrection, and all we have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we have blessed Joseph, your spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may we always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope coming of your Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live to you, my peace I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, <clears throat> and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us pray. Be the holy refreshment of your sacrament, restore us a new old Lord, and cleanse us of old ways. Take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless <coughs> you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. 